Good day, Grade 8. I'm Mrs. Milani Lowe, and we are going to do Part 2 of Beyond the Solar System today. So, in the previous lesson, you learned how billions of solar systems make up a galaxy and how billions of galaxies make up the universe. So, our Sun, with the planets orbiting around it, is called the solar system. If you put billions of solar systems together, it makes up a galaxy, in our case the Milky Way. If you put billions of um, galaxies together from of different shapes and sizes, then in the end we end up with a universe as we know it. Now if we look at distances in the universe between planets and stars etc, we know that our Sun is the closest star to the Earth and it's about 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. So if you write it out, 150 million kilometers as a number, it's 150 with six zeros. So it's a very large number. And if we look at the solar system and the diameter of the solar system, it's about 287 billion kilometers from one side of the solar system along the diameter to the opposite side. Now if we write this number out, it's a 287 with nine zeros. So you can see that these numbers are really large and really difficult to work with. So because the universe is so big, astronomers do not like to use kilometers to indicate the distance between celestial bodies like planets and stars and galaxies. And the reason for that is that these large numbers are just impractical to use. So how do we measure distances in space? We use what we call light years, light hours and light minutes. So it's very important. It sounds like a light year is a time, but it's not. It's a distance. It is the distance that light can move in a year. That is a light year. And you already know that light moves really, really fast. It moves at 300,000 kilometers per second. So that means that light can travel about 10 trillion kilometers in a year. So that is a light year. It is the distance that light can travel in a year is called a light year and it's around 10 trillion kilometers but we don't like to work with the 10 trillion kilometers we just call it a light year so very important a light year is the distance that light travels in one year for shorter distances in space we can use light hours a light hour is the distance that light travels in one hour and then a light minute is the distance that light travels in one minute. So which distances can we measure or do we measure in light minutes? Now the distance from our sun to the earth, as we said earlier, is around 150 million kilometers. But it takes light only eight minutes to move from the sun to the earth. And that is why the distance between the earth um, and our sun is eight light minutes. It means that light takes only eight minutes to move from the sun to the earth. So we call the distance between the sun and the earth eight light minutes. Then, as we said earlier, our solar system has a diameter of 287 billion kilometers. But it takes light 13 hours to move from one side of the solar system to the other. So that is why we say that our solar system has a diameter of about 13 light hours. That is how big our solar system is. Now before we get to light years, distances that we measure in light years, just let us just look at um, constellations. Now if you look up in the light sky, you will see an arrangement, of, uh, an arrangement of four stars that is in the shape of a cross. Now those lines are only imaginary. It's only to show you where the shape of the cross comes from. And then to the left bottom of this constellation or group of stars, we see two bright stars that we can easily see with a naked eye. Now this is called a constellation. Now let's le uh, look at the definition of a constellation. A constellation is a group of stars that form a pattern in the sky. So that you can see these four stars form the pattern 
of a cross and this is a very famous constellation and it's visible in the southern hemisphere and it's called the southern cross and then the two bright stars at the bottom left of this um, constellation pointing towards the cross are called the pointers so this group of stars that form a pattern in the sky is called the southern cross and then next to the southern cross there are two bright stars pointing towards the southern cross and they are called the two pointers now if you look at the southern cross at night with the two pointers you will see that the one pointer is brighter than the other one and the brighter one of the two pointers of the southern cross constellation is called alpha centauri now alpha centauri is a very special star to us because alpha centauri is the nearest star to our sun and the distance from our sun to alpha centauri is about 4,2 light years so it's billions of kilometers away so the distance between alpha centauri the closest star to our sun is around 4,2 light years so let's just summarize what we have learned today the first thing we learned is that we measure distances in space by using light minutes, light hours, and light years. A light year is a distance, and it is the distance that light can travel in a year. And then you have to know three distances that we measure in light minutes, light hours, and light years. The first one, the distance from the Earth to our Sun is about eight light minutes. The diameter of our solar system, the size of our solar system, is about 13 light hours. And the distance to the closest star to our sun, which is called Alpha Centauri, is about 4,2 light years. And then what is Alpha Centauri? Alpha Centauri is the brighter one of the two pointers, um, which is part of the Southern Cross constellation. So that is what we have learned today. So to test your knowledge, you can continue with a quiz. There are 10 questions and I wish you best of luck with the, with the 10 questions. Thank you.